Welcome to Regulation Station, where our goal is to help you feel calm and in control. Today's project is to make an engine plate, which is going to be super exciting and awesome. But before we do, I'm going to tell you what it is, because I know some of you are familiar with an engine plate, but a lot of you may not be. So I'm going to tell you what it is and then how to make one at home. All right, here we go. So what's an engine plate? The engine plate is a tool that you can use to be more aware of your feelings so that you can learn to regulate and be in control of your body. That's pretty awesome, right? Because everybody wants to be calm and in control. That's where we're our best and most awesome selves. It looks a little something like this. So if you imagine if you're driving in a car, the speedometer, that's kind of the shape. Um, as you can see, and it's made of three different colors. So blue, green, red. Pretty simple, right? But what does that mean? Okay, so think of a car engine. So we're gonna start with green, right in the middle, right? Green for a car engine is like cruise control. Things are going really smoothly, it's a steady pace, all is good, the car is healthy. Now if you think about blue, blue is taking your foot off the gas or the engine is broken down, right? Things aren't going so good. Look at that poor car, it's very upset on the left side of the screen. And red, pedal to the metal. You're speeding or out of control. So, but what does that mean for me? I'm a human being. Well, I'm gonna tell you, here we go. So green is feeling just right. So this is your window of tolerance. You are calm and peaceful. You feel like you can deal with whatever happens, right? Stress might be coming at you. Feelings might come up, but it's okay because you know how to handle them. If you're blue, you might be slow and tired or your body wants to shut down or your mind or emotions want to shut down. Your body may feel too heavy to move. You may be a little spacey, zoned out, numb or frozen. This is called hypoarousal, okay? Um, so again, if you imagine that broken down car or that tired crying car, that's kind of where your body is when you're in the blue. And red, red is pedal to the metal, so fast and emotional or fast and wiggly. You may feel anxious, angry, out of control, overly excited or overwhelmed. This is called hyperarousal, right? So jittery, buzzy, uh, moving a lot really angry, all of that stuff kind of falls into the red. All right, does that make sense? Whoa, that was a ton of info. So let's do a quick check-in. Where are you right now on the engine plate? Are you feeling green? Are you feeling like things are good? You're calm, you're regulated. Are you feeling blue, a little tired? Maybe haven't gotten to talk to your friends or haven't uh, you know, woke up on the wrong side of the bed, or are you feeling red and things are a little stressful and you're feeling uh, irritable or angry or something made you upset? So I'm going to give you five seconds to think, where are you on the engine plate? Okay, got it? I am a little in the green and the red because I'm making this video, which you're going to listen to, and so I'm excited and nervous and happy and calm so right on the border there all right let's keep going now for our at home project i'm really excited about this what you're gonna need a paper plate red blue and green markers crayons colored pencils or paint whatever you have at home a piece of black thick paper if you have it cardstock construction paper another paper plate and then a brad or something to fasten two things together so i'm going to show you what that is if you don't know um, if you don't have that that's okay i'm going to show you modifications too so pause the video real quick go get your supplies so you can follow along with me So number one, color your plate. Remember when I showed you the engine plate earlier? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna color three different pie pieces of the plate on the top part of the plate, blue, green, and red. Um, this can look however you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's grading you. This is just for you. It's a tool for you to use. Um, and it's your project, so do it however you want. Okay, once your plate is colored, 
then you're going to make an arrow. So take your thicker piece of paper, your cardstock, construction paper, second paper plate, whatever, um, and cut out an arrow. It's got to fit about half the size of the plate. So, you know, like a hand's length or, I don't know, four to five inches, something like that. Um, and if the paper you used isn't black, then you can color your arrow black or leave it white. doesn't really matter. Um, but that is step two, okay? So make an arrow. And step three, affix your arrow to your engine plate. And what that means is you're going to take something like a brad that you can see there. Um, you're going to poke a hole in your arrow, in the bottom of your arrow, and you're going to poke a hole in the plate. Now, uh, if you're, if you may need a, a helpful adult to supervise with this part, right? Because it's kind of tricky poking the holes. Um, but be safe, whatever you're doing, and use something to poke a hole in the plate and in the arrow. And then, you know, put them together. And the brad is a perfect tool for this. Not a lot of people have brad, so I was trying to get creative. You could use a paper clip maybe and bend it a certain way, an old earring with the back on it, right? A piece of yarn probably if you tied knots on both sides. Um, I don't know, you can probably come up with something else if you really want, but that's the idea, um, is to put the arrow on top of the engine plate there. And can you guess why? Okay. Because the goal of the arrow is that it can move wherever you are on the engine plate. Because remember, this is a tool for you to figure out where you are. Um, and when you're feeling a certain way, you're going to want to move the arrow to wherever you are, right? So I'm not always in the green. Some days I wake up, I'm in the blue. And I might just check in on my engine plate, move my arrow to the blue. Uh, but then maybe I do something like a breathing exercise and I get back to the green and then I can move it back to the green. Our emotions are fluid, which means they change a lot, right? Sometimes from minute to minute, and that's normal. That's the human experience. Uh, but what's really important to being calm and living your best life is to know where you are so that you can get back into the green, into that window of tolerance that I mentioned earlier. Okay, but what if I don't have all those supplies? That's okay. We can do the engine plate a different way too, all right? So just find a piece of paper, an old envelope, an index card, whatever, something to color on, and that can become your engine plate. It's not going to have all the moving parts, but it doesn't really need to because you know what the purpose of it is. It's a tool for you to use so that you can feel calm and learn to live your best life, okay? And it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna be probably in the shape of a rectangle. You're just gonna color in three columns, the same colors, right? Blue, green, red, and it works just as well. You don't need the arrow and all that other fancy stuff. What's important is that you have the tool and you know how to use it. Okay, let's check your engine again. This is the opportunity to use your new engine plate if you've been following along with me and have paused and, and done your project. So here are some questions to ask yourself. Where am I on the engine plate? Am I in the blue, the green, or the red? And how do I know? What is my body telling me? Uh, is my are my eyelids droopy and my muscles kind of heavy that means maybe I'm in the blue or are my muscles tense are my shoulders creeping up to my ears is my jaw clenched right those are signs that maybe I'm in the red or am I just chilling and I'm in the green and life is good and I'm calm okay so wherever you find yourself on the engine plate it's okay the goal here is to build self-awareness and that's a really big cool thing that you get to do right now by using this tool for yourself um, so check your engine i'm going to give you another three seconds to check your engine and see where you're at okay got it good so that's the end of this video. You made an engine plate. That's so cool. The next step is to check in and use your engine plate to figure out whether you're in the red, the blue, the green. Um, and then, like I was saying, eventually you'll learn other tools to get yourself back to the green if you're in the blue or the red. But that's going to make this video way too long. So I'm going to cut it off now um, and teach you some other skills on a different video. Okay? All right, you're awesome. Thank you for checking in today to Regulation Station.